Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Kohloimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha Kudash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all you, Akim and Akwap, that sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Um, Pray that it's edifying by the spirit. Just an update on this article with Elon Musk. Uh, it's in the independent technology uh, section. It says first person to receive Elon Musk Neuralink brain implant is using it to control a mouse with their thoughts, right? Okay, so they're using it. Okay, so they're controlling the computer mouse from what he's saying here. It says um, Mr. Musk announced last month that Neuralink had implanted his first chip into a person. He is still yet given any detail of that process, though the company had advertised for someone with quadriplegia and has said that the chip is implanted by a robot surgeon. So quadriplegia pretty much is like a paraplegic or, you know, somebody that have lost all, you know, they don't have no use. I mean, no, um, no um, control or no working factors of all four limbs, so to speak, you know, arms, legs, you know, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So and this is, you know, I wanted to bring that out because Esau, he's going to try and use that as if he's performed a miracle. If they can get this person to walk. Now, there was a video while um, brothers was doing lessons on it earlier. Um, well, last year or whatever, in 2023 with, you know, this guy, you know, they implanted him, you know, with a chip. He had never, you know, I think he got hurt in an accident or something like that. But and, you know, he was able to stand and walk on a walker. He was completely paralyzed at first until they put that you know, particular implant into him, you know, so, and I haven't seen any updates on that guy as of yet, you know, but it's been a while, so I'm sure they're still working with him, but, you know, they did have video of him actually walking, you know, on a walker slowly, it wasn't like he was just pushing on along, you know what I'm saying, but still, to a lot of people, that's, that's, that's seen as a miracle, and this is Second Corinthians um, 2 and 11, it says, let, let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, we're not ignorant of the fact that he's going to use that to say, see, you know, we made a person that couldn't ever walk, walk. We made a person that couldn't, couldn't ever see, see. We made a person that couldn't even talk, that's been a mute and, 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 you know, and been using sign language all their life. And now they can all of a sudden they can speak, you know, things like that. So, you know, you have to understand who you're dealing with. See, Esau, he wants to be the most high God. And let's get this um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3 real quick. And we'll go, you know, go back into some more of the article. I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. And this is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's their biblical nationality. They're being revealed as the wicked, man. Because what they're trying to do, what this is going to do is going to they're going to take it to another step and they want to pretty much, you know, um, brand people, you know, as if they're cattle, you know, to put their mark on them. And that's going off into the karagma of Revelation 13 and 16, so to speak, you know, and they're going to try and put this shit into everybody. See, they're, they're starting it off. See, this this is how he gets down. This is how, you know, he's a, um, the damn devil. He's a deceiver. You know, he slips in, you know, and the scripture talks about never trusting thy enemy. And it goes off into, um, though he humble himself and go crouching, which means that he's going to come in. He's going to slip in and say, hey, you know, we're, we're, you know, we really want to help people. You know, our science, we, 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 we just want people to enjoy themselves, enjoy life. You know, so by giving them the ability to walk again, you know, they're going to, you know, start shit off like that. But then eventually it's going to get to a point where this is a, mand uh, a mandatory thing that everybody has to have because, you know, of and then they're going to try and make it seem as if it's a good thing on that end, too. You know, yeah, your babies won't get lost if your child you know, gets kidnapped or something like that. We can locate them. You know, we have a low jack in them. You know, we have a black box in them, so to speak. You know, so you don't have to worry about. OK, yeah, let's get that back again. Um, so lucky I was kicking with the neighbor. Uh, it says um, Second Thessalonians two and three. It says, let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come 
except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition and and this is what you're witnessing you're witnessing the man of sin the son of perdition and he's coming out here with all his little 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 trinkets and shit you know trying to fool the people into you know this this mindset of we can help you you know you know they, i mean this this man is doing all kinds of stuff man right now i'm talking about seriously verse four says who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called god or that is worship so that he is God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God and mainly they gave you know the world white Jesus you know what I'm saying or white God you know and 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 told the world that everybody looks like them you know what I'm saying in the Bible all the righteous people are them you know but in reality this man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of man I came out this morning and it's just like you know it's just it's it's just smoky man it wasn't fog, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell what fog is, you know? But yesterday, I was looking up in the sky, and I'm looking like, well, damn, you know, I ain't never seen this many of these jets in the sky. Man, they was crisscrossing. It was just, just white streaks all through the damn sky. When I woke up this morning, I already knew that's what it was, but I'd never seen it to that extent. So, Esau out here, man, this motherfucker, man, spraying shit, doing all kinds of shit. And ain't no telling, man. They, they telling you about some damn disease X coming through talking about there's not a uh, how they how they worded um it's not a fact of of when how they word it but basically what they was basically saying like you know hey we know something coming yeah of course you know something coming anyway let's go back into this real quick man this man must be stopped we need out of this man's kingdom man and see where we see jacob is that worm we have absolutely no power against this man i'm looking at one of these damn jets and they in the skies right now still doing that shit incredible bro it says now in a twitter space event mr musk has revealed that the recipient appears to be well and is using the system to control a computer progress is good and the patient seems to have made a recovery with no ill effects that we're aware of and is able to control the mouse move the mouse around the screen just by thinking see that this is how they're going to try and present this shit to you. Like, hey, look, man, we can, you know, you can be, why just be human? You can be a superhuman. Just come and, and let us deal with you. We got you, man. All we have to do is put this in you, man, and you can fucking teleport. <laughs> you won't have to get on the airplane no more. You can just think it and you're there. You know, you ain't no telling with this man, man. Okay, it says Neuralink's primary work. With the, with the recipient is now attempting to make the command more complex so that the chip can be used for different kinds of controls. See, we're trying to get as many buttons presses as possible from thinking. So that's what we're currently working on is can you get left mouse, right mouse, mouse down, mouse up? He said we want to have more than just two buttons. So we're trying to make progress on that front, but overall it's looking very good. Neuralink began its preparations for human trials after receiving regulatory approval in September. Mr. Musk has said that the system is called telepath see, te telepathy, but much else remains secret about the trials. And who do you think gave him the, 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 the regulatory approval? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the, the, what they call the FDA. <laughs> So let's get that uh, Job 9 and 24. See, these scriptures are real. Oh, damn, I'm down to 5%. I've been trying to charge this phone all day. This bad boy has not been charging. We should be able to get through this lesson, though, before it goes out. Job 9 and 24 says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Who's in control of saying, hey, you can have a laboratory? Where you can start playing with people's brains and shit. You know, you can put stuff into people. Who do you think is running this stuff, man? This is Esau Edom's kingdom, the so-called white man. That's why the scriptures talks about, let me get, this is how we know who this guy is. And we had to put him on blast. That's a part of the um, a part of this doctrine, man. A part of the truth is to, you know, show who that man of sin and son of perdition is, man. Um, what was that? Uh, Salakia. I wanted to get, okay, this is 2nd Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See? Esau is the end of the world. 
And you can't tell me that we're not in the end of this thing, man. This, this place is through. When I say extra through, like, you know, like, I, you know, I, I drive for a living and I, the places that I be, <laughs> I be looking, man, like, man, this place is finished, man. And I've been here long enough to know what it was like when America was somewhat on, on top of their game. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, people was actually really getting money, you know, and, and wasn't as frustrated as they are now. People frustrated as hell right now, man. They can't make, you know, um, ends meet. They can't they can barely pay damn rent. I was just kicking it with my neighbor just now. Like I said, I had to pause the, the lesson real quick. You know, I was you know speaking with him. He was talking about how he worked with a chick and her rent is twenty five hundred dollars a month. I'm like here. You fucking crazy. But of course, you know, that's, you know, that's five thousand dollars every two months. Can you imagine that? But that's the so-called black woman by herself doing that stupid shit. That's silly as hell, man. You know what I mean? Just silly as hell. But anyway, Second Ezra 6 and 9, again, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You can't say that we're not at the end of the world. Look at look at the 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 the, the, the people, man. Look at how fucked up the people are. We ain't gonna even talk about your food quality, your air quality, you know. All the businesses are, are shuttering. People are you know trying to just just make it. Homelessness is through the roof. Suicide rates is through the roof. And this man got you at the brink of the fucking World War III with, with missiles aimed at your ass on a day-to-day -day basis. You see? He's out here trying to put a fucking computer in the people. So you know we got to be at the end, bro. Come on, man. You know, how much more evidence do you need? It says the study uses a robot to surgically place a brain computer interface implant in a region of the brain that controls the intentions to move. Neuralink has said, adding that the initial goal is to enable people to control a computer cursor or keyboard using their thoughts. And like I said again, man, hey, they're going to take it even further. Neuralink, which was valued at about $5 billion last year, has faced repeated calls for scrutiny regarding its safety protocols. Reuters reported last month that the firm was fined for violating U.S. Department of Trans Transportation rules regarding the movement of hazardous materials. Man, this dude all out in space. He doing all manner of shit, man. But anyway, I'm going to set him down to probably about 4%, 3%. But let's just get this last script real quick. It's Revelation 13 to 16, because this is what it's all coming down to right here. We got to report on it, man. We got to let people know Esau Edom is the so-called white man, and he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Verse 16, it says, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And this is not just, um, 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 you know, Elon Musk. This is not just Neuralink. There's other companies out here doing this. And um, the elder down in Birmingham, GMS Birmingham camp, you know, he, he puts up these Karagma um, um, insta um, installments uh, every other couple of days or so, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But, man, he, psh, it's plenty of video footage, man, of people actually scanning their goddamn hand across a damn barcode hookup. And, and purchasing um, their, their items, man, their stores and stuff. So we know that this shit is in, in play. We know that this is in play. I heard, you know, some, some estimate of maybe 50,000 people or so in the world has got it, which is a small drop in the bucket if that's true. For, but, they, but the technology is there. See? These tattoo artists, these, these piercers, you know, where you go and get your piercings and all that shit at, hey, they, they, they you know, they, they in business, man, of, of, of you know, implanting. Already, I've seen videos on that. It's a company here. It's a tattoo shop here where I stay here. Stay at here in Michigan. So-called black guy too, talking about he couldn't wait until this technology. He, 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 you know, he was so so geeked about it. Like you know, I, you know, I'm I'm proud to be a part of this generation of this technology. You know, he's there with you know that damn syringe. You know, that grain of rice. You know, they, they, come on, bro. This shit is this real, man. This this is where we're at. And these camps is out here, man. You got camps that's out here. You know, they're not teaching this truth, man. They're not telling our people. They're not warning the flock that, hey, this man is getting ready to come down with hardcore rule on your ass, man. Because he's going to make it. Man. He's going to basically. He's going to uh, make it to the point where you're going to make a choice. 
You either going to make you you going to make him your God or you're going to serve your Hawaii Shimia And that's pretty much what he's going to do. He's not going to come and say, you know, uh, uh, handcuff your ass and, 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 and hold you down and, and, and put that shit in you. He's going to make you make a choice. Do you want to eat? Do you want to drink? Do you want to move about in society? You know, because if you do, you're going to have to come and take what we have for you. <laughs> but if you don't. You're going to be an outcast in, in this society, man, in your community. You're not going to be able to go and shop. You're not going to be able to go and get food. You're not going to just be able to go and purchase anything. And, and, and what you notice is when you go to a lot of these new store, these stores or whatever now, the ones that have survived, COV19, which was, a, you know, you can see the, the, the down drop. And I wanted to do a lesson on that as well. The down drop in these businesses, man, these companies, you know. All it is is big box um, stores, man. You can go to Walmart and get any damn thing you need from tires to a damn car battery to a, a, a fishing rod to clothes for the children to d donuts, fresh baked bread <laughs> and all at the self checkout. And the cameras is on you. You see, and they've collected enough data to know who everyone is. If you've ever been in one of their stores, you're in the system. You're already in a database. That's such a, especially if, you, if you've used a card. They didn't took pictures of your license plate. You know what I'm saying? They know when you're coming in. They know exactly who you are. Shit, Walmart got a, 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 probably a better surveillance system than the damn police. Anyway, verse 17, it says in that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And this is what this is all leading up to. You're not going to be able to buy or sell, man, unless you have that, 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 that chip, man. Because they're about to do a digital reset. The damn dollar is nothing already. Shit, if you're getting a quarter out of that dollar, man, you, you, you be lucky. They taxing the shit out of you from your job. You know, they taking money from as soon as you, you know, they, you know, before you get your check, they getting a cut. Then once they give you what it is that they've left you with, you got to go into your uh, go and spend money. And then it, the, the people are taxing you. The companies are taxing you. There's no real value to the money. And then America is losing so bad on the world stage when it comes to technology. It's like, you know, they're, they're, they're going to really step their game up real, real fast, real soon. You know, but let's get um, chapter 14 right here. Verse nine, because this is why we do these lessons. Hey, you hey, don't take this shit, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you need to repent and call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. True name of the Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, um, Haitians, Jamaicans, you know, um, Cubans, Latinos, you know, because you are the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the children of Israel. And you're the ones that they really want to perpetually enslave. They want you. They don't want you calling on your power. They don't want you calling on Yahweh about Shemiah was shy. Right. And, you know, it's not a color thing because because there are people out here from other, you know, in other nations. They, they may look like they're Chinese. They may look like they're Japanese. They may look like they're Cambodians or Philippines, whatever. But they could be Israelites because the Israelites were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We're everywhere. We're in every continent there is, man. In every city, every major city, we're amongst all our enemies. See? But anyway, it's a lot. Verse 9, it says, And the third angel, Revelation 14 and 9, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the, the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So the Lord is going to pour out his wrath without mixture. That which means it's just going to be straight cut. It's like a vodka or you drinking a tequila or something or whiskey. You know, there's no chaser with this, man. It's going to be straight, raw, straight, straight, straight. You ain't going to be able to put no... You know, no, there ain't going to be no cranberry juice or no orange juice or no Coca-Cola or whatever you may want to, you know, um, whatever you may mix with your drink to tone it down some. Nope, you're going to get that straight shot, that straight chest beater. Ah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? 
Well, let's get um, chapter 16 as well, verse 2. Revelation 16 and 2, it says, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worship his, his image. So, let me read it in the NLT over here. It says, So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bowl, his bowl on the earth, and, hor and horrible maglit Megalinet, sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast or who worshiped his statue. His statue, right? So, you're going to know if a person took that shit because they're going to break out with, with, with whatever kind of sores it is. Now, we don't know, you know, to the extent of what kind of sores they're going to be and where they're going to be at, but shit, they can be on your face, they can be on your hands, your arms. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, hey, I mean, come on, bro. You, hey, look. Why would you allow this man to, to insert something into your body, man? It's enough. You got to wake up and just try and, 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 and put together a decent meal. You can't eat this man and fucked up the food. This man got everybody out here fucked up. The entire world is fucked up, man. Drugs all in the water system. You know. Just, just the fuck. I, I was watching um, a brother's video earlier, and and, and he, he he a video of fake beef, fake meat. They 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 three D printing fucking meat, man. You don't know what you eating. The scriptures talks about how well, you know we would um, you know eat our bread defile uh, defile bread amongst you know um, our enemies, basically roughly paraphrasing, man. This man got to go. Could you think he's gonna stop here? He's trying to tell you. That's why I said, I, you know, when I brought out the one, let me let me just go into it. Ecclesiasticus. Twelve. And ten. And you go into the comment board. Look, these so-called white people don't don't trust so-called white people. So why would you? Huh? They don't trust their own people. So why would you? Why would you go in? You come on, man. And they t they all they constantly testing shit out on niggas, man. Can't say that they're not constantly. They have a track record of that. Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach 12 and 10. It says, never trust thine enemy for like his iron rusted so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust have not been been altogether wiped away that's what i was saying about he's they're gonna go humbling themselves they're gonna go crouching you know hey how you doing we just want to help we love you and then next thing you know he he he, he, done, he done, done that thing to your ass and matter of fact it says um in verse in verse 13 it says who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast See, we're 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 the watchmen. We're telling you. So and we're not going to basically be like, hey, well, well, we told you, man. And it's going to be too late. If you let this man put this shit in you, there's no coming back from that. There, there's no repentance for that. There's nowhere in the scriptures where it says that you're going to. The Lord clearly gave you the, the clear depiction of what's going to happen to your ass. He's going to pour out his wrath without mixture on your ass. And that's that. That's it, man. So we're warning the flock right now because this silly, doofy motherfucker right here. Look at this dude, man. Look at him. No style, no swag. Here you go, you got all this money, and you just the, the doofiest looking up, you know, ain't you know, just doofy as hell, bro. Like it's, it's crazy. These people, that's how you know the, the scriptures is real, man. Because the Lord said that He will He He will place a base nation of foolish people over us. These people are stupid. It's all hell, bro. I was just at the plantation, just left there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm in the cafeteria, right? Now, this is the place where people eat, you know. You know, they got, you know, uh, you know, food and shit that you can, you know, um, you know, grab out of certain, you know, um, hookups or whatever, whatever. Right. I go into the cafeteria. How's about this a damn sheet of mite in that motherfucker with her dog? 
She done brought her fucking dog to work. Got the fucking dog in the cafeteria where people are sitting down eating. And you know what? These so-called so-called white people, man, was just getting up out of their seats and, 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 and getting down on their knees and playing with the fucking dog in the cafeteria. I'm looking at these motherfuckers like, man, God damn. I just made me a coffee and got the fuck on. I just, you know, ain't, I'm not sitting in here. He all in there shaking his, you know, you know how dogs do. Motherfucking fur flying. <laughs> and a motherfucker sitting here eating. Get the fuck out of here. It's just, and it's not a service dog. It wasn't no service dog. This wasn't like no dog for blind people or a dog for, you know, somebody with a disability. This bitch literally just brought her dog to work. Got him walking all through the building, man. In the fucking cafeteria. And nobody's saying nothing. All these so-called white people with all these smiles on their face. That's why I be, you know, I'm, I'm so happy and glad that I don't have to sit around them. You know, because I, I, I generally just go in, you know, use the restroom. I pretty much get all my work on my phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, and I'm in a, in, a, in a company vehicle, so to speak. And I just, you know, I, I'm chilling in the vehicle. I'm not, I don't even be in the building around them. I don't, you know, I only go in there to just, you know, to get me some coffee or tea or something like that. And use the restroom. And I'm, and, and, and I'm about my way. Because these people are fucking silly as hell, bro. I'm just, I just be looking at them like the type of shit they be doing is just like, and these are the people that are running the planet. And we need out of their hands. And that lets you know, man, how the Lord really just put a real ass whooping on us as a people. Here you go. You're the best people in the world, but you got these doofy motherfuckers over you, man. And the Lord placed them over you. <laughs> and you can't go against the grain. You can't go against them. The Lord set them up. This is their kingdom. Because like I said again, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked from what Job 9 and 24 is saying. Who do you think is running the planet? This man is in control of your damn life. And you got these Negroes running around out here thinking that they're free. You're not free because you need this man's driver license. You need his car insurance. You need his tabs. You need, his, you, uh, you got to pay him a damn electric bill. You got to pay him a water bill. You got to pay, you, you know, you need a passport to leave this motherfucker. You need his, you need all his shit. To just move about in this planet, man, which the Lord gave to us. And all praises to Yahweh about Shemiah side, man. And we're gonna get it all back, man. That the Lord is merciful, man. But boy, when I say he done a number, <laughs> he done a number on us. Oh my. Here you go, you got a people that don't even have sense enough to have laws against bestiality. There's places in America, man, where you can you, you can literally sleep with a goddamn hog, a cow, a, a horse, a bird, or whatever the, whatever you want to put your, your rod in, man. But he's the most civilized person on the planet from what he's saying. Come on, bro. Y'all better wake the hell up, man, and repent, man. But anyway, I wanted to touch on this, just an update on what this man is talking about. Because like I said, again, they're going to try and make this shit seem like it's the sweet, the sweetest thing ever. You, 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 and then they're going to make it to the point where you can't move or live without it. This is what it's all coming down to, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Quam Shalom.